Scammers have stooped to a new low, really, to extort thousands of dollars from a San Jose teenager. Seven on your side's Michael Finney says the culprits practically put a gun to the boy's head to get that cash, and it is revolting. Okay. It is revolting. It, it's actually so grotesque, we can't even really show it to you in its entirety. Um, what happened to him is just unbelievable. Here's what we know. The con artists carried out their scheme using the Zelle payment app for a reason. Your discretion, I've got to tell you, is advised. The money disappeared from the account of 19-year-old Christian Valdez as quickly as the threatening texts and phone calls could come in. If you don't pay this amount, I'll come to your house and I'll murder you and your family. The con artist first demanded small amounts, but then the amounts demanded grew bigger and bigger. With his mother by his side, Christian broke down what happened. He kept uh, texting me and harassing me about, like, I need this much, I need this much, I need n another amount. The text came with gruesome photos of what would happen to Christian if he didn't give in to the demands. Then he sent me videos of people getting shot and getting chopped up. I'm making the payment, texted Christian. You promised to leave me and my family alone. I'm just scared for all the photos. I'm sorry that you showed me, and I don't want that. Yeah, it, it, Sergeant Christian Camarello of the San Jose Police Department says the best defense is to cut off communications immediately. As simple as blocking someone's number from your cell phone, that solves 99.9% .9 of these problems. Sounds simple now, but at the time, Christian says all he could think about was saving his family. I was just frozen in fear. I didn't know what to do. It wasn't until he drained all his money in one week's time from his bank account. All $10,000 gone in one week. The scam artist demanded he turn over another 6000 He finally told his mom. I was upset. I was crying. I was frustrated. She knew right away her son had been scammed. He really thought his life was threatened. He thought his family, he thought someone was going to come knock on our door and, you know, kill us in the middle of the night. If you are receiving a very direct threat saying, hey, we're coming after you, we're going to kill you, please call 911, report that to your local police department, let them do the investigating, tracking down the phone number, try to find out who it is, etc. Christian has filed a police report and also submitted a fraud report to his bank, Chase. Chase told him there was nothing it could do to get his money back because he authorized the transaction. The bank tells Seven on Your Side customers who receive threatening messages should contact law enforcement and not engage with scammers to avoid losing funds. The internet here. Jeff Blisco is with Consumer Checkbook. This is the kind of the gray area between cash, you know, paper money, and digital money. And you know, some, you know, one digital money can be tracked easily. Cash cannot be tracked. That's why criminals like to work in cash. He thinks it's time for Congress and federal regulators to take a harder look at all the technological advances in exchanging money. These days, electronic stuff moves faster than regulations and regulators and Congress people. So um, these things take time to happen. But yeah, I would agree I, that they should, there should be protections. The Valdez family says they just want to warn the public these things are going on so what happened to Christian doesn't happen again. What a wonderful family to come forward with this. Yeah. You know this is happening all the time. We oh, just don't hear about it. Yeah, they're great to let people know by coming forward. Wouldn't you love to get your hands on these scams? Oh, <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Michael, very much.